Hello, this is John from Cave of Programming.com. In this tutorial on Java FX, we're going to look at adding style sheets to style our application. So I'm going to copy this and introducing Scene Builder tutorial that we created last time. Oh no, actually it was the an interactive program that was the last tutorial. So I'll copy that and paste it and let's call this introducing style sheets and I'll click OK and let's just make sure that this actually runs and it looks good. Yeah, we click the button and we get some text appearing here. Um, so I'm going to add a style sheet to this and I want a, um, a package to put it in. So I'm going to right click this FXML package and go to new package and let's create a package called fxml dot dot styles or something like that. You can make up a name for it. And um, just to explain briefly, we, we've seen that in JavaFX you create these XML files to um, to create the user interface of your application. And uh, in the same way that we can style HTML with CSS if we're doing web programming. In JavaFX, we can style these um, FXML uh, XML files with CSS style sheets, just like the ones that would use for HTML. So if you know HTML type CSS, then you'll be on uh, safe ground here because it's the same thing, basically. Uh, and if you don't know it, don't worry, because it's, it's pretty simple. So I'll go to my new directory here, styles, and I'll right click and go to new file. And let's create a file called main.css, click finish. Now I'm going to want to style the two controls that are in my application for this tutorial. Let's go to scene builder here and um, let's go to file open and open that fxml file. So I'll go to my folder uh, introducing style sheets fxml main.fxml and we'll open that. So here's the application at the moment. Uh, you, it doesn't actually work if you try to run it in Scene Builder. This is just like a pre preview of the user interface. Now I've got two controls here. I've got a button and I've got a label here. And uh, I want to style both of them. And to style a, uh, a widget in JavaFX, you need to be able to target it somehow via um, an ID or I guess a class. So we need to make sure that both of these controls have IDs assigned to them. And if I click the label and I look at code in the inspector for label, we see that the FX ID box here says greeting label. So the label's already got an FX ID and we can use that to target it in our style sheets. If I click the button here, we see there's no label for that. So I'm going to give it a label. Let's write um, click me button hit return and uh, then save that Then I'm going to go to Eclipse right click and go to refresh and let's take a look at the FXML and yes we see now that the button here has been assigned an FX ID and the label also has an FX ID if you don't see that after saving in scene builder and clicking refresh in your project it means you're editing the wrong file most likely which is, is very easy to do so let's go to main.css now and uh, since we want to target the button using its ID we're going to start by typing a hash sign or what we call in the UK a hash sign here maybe it's a pound sign in America um, and one of these hash signs uh, is, is a sign that what follows is going to be an ID so I'm going to type here um, what do I call it click click me button I think and what this is, is it's a CSS selector. It's a, it's a little bit of code that's used to select one or more CSS elements, in this case, just one. So that says it's an ID, the hash, and this is the actual FX ID. And after that, we open a curly bracket and close the curly bracket down here. And then here we can place styles to style the button. If you do uh, control space, you should, your autocomplete should show you uh, all the kind of stuff that you can use, which is very handy. I'm going to set the uh, hyphen fx hyphen font hyphen size, and a lot of these are, are the same 
as what you have in CSS for HTML. Uh, it's just that they have they have hyphen FX in front of them. So let's select font size here, and uh, I'll do Control Space again uh, to use autocomplete, and we'll select 0.0 EM or M. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, uh, but the M unit uh, specifies like one EM means the current font size, and two EM would mean twice as big as the current font size. So let's save that. And if we run the application now, we should see that the text on the bottom is bigger and nothing's actually happened, uh, which means I've done something wrong. Ah, yeah, I forgot to load the style sheet, which will definitely help. Let's go to our application here. Um, so let's go to main.java. And here, uh, where I create, create the scene, I'm going to say scene.getStyleSheets dot add and in there I'm going to specify the path to style sheet so it's in a package fxml so I'll type forward slash to start from the root of the like, application fxml forward slash styles because it's, it's nested in this styles package in the fxml package forward slash main.css I've also seen people doing stuff like get resources, uh, get well stuff like get class dot get resources um, dot well let's let's get rid of that. You can see it up here actually. Get class dot get resource, and then the name of the style sheet, and then dot to external form, which returns a string. And I thought maybe that was um, maybe you need to do it that way to get the style sheet to load in a jar. But just doing a bit of searching on the internet, I haven't tried, but uh, people seem to be saying that this way, which is far simpler, uh, is the way that actually works if you create a jar file. So I don't know, I'm just going to go with this syntax for the moment. Anyway, uh, that should add our style sheet. Let's get rid of these blank lines and run the application again. And now we see that the button font has been made bigger. Let's add a, a few more styles for fun, and, and this is the sort of thing, it's not very complicated, and if you just um, look up stuff when you need it and uh, try typing it out, you soon kind of collect a little library of possible styles in your head. Let's try styling the label, so I'm going to go to main.css here and type hash greeting label, because we're targeting an ID again, and put the brackets in, and let's say again, hyphen fx hyphen font hyphen size let's make that 2em and you need to remember to terminate these lines in semicolons otherwise it won't work um, I'll also set a border here so I'll say fx hyphen border border color let's set that to black in fact if you do control space there you can even pick a color I believe I'm not actually tried if that works. Oh yeah, it does work. Okay, that's nice. But what I'll do is, it's great actually, I'll just type black for the border colour. Or maybe grey, maybe grey. Let's try grey. There we go. And uh, let's say fx hyphen border hyphen um, width. Let's set that to one pixel, one px. And I think that's it for the border. Oh, let's set the radius because that's that's kind of cool as well. I'll set the radius to four pixels so that we get um, a round border. This isn't going to really look very pretty. I'm just going to like demonstrate the sort of thing that you can do, but I'm not worrying too much about how it actually looks at the moment. And um, yeah, let's let's check that out actually. So I'll just run this program, and uh, there's there's the border around the label, and. Maybe we can make it a bit bigger. So I'll just select the label here because I want to show you something um, else that's a bit interesting. Let's save that and just check that again. Click me. Actually, that didn't. I didn't reload that. I'm always forgetting to do that. So let's reload it. Click run, and there we go. Now it's bigger. Uh, one thing you'll see is that the text is aligned to the left here, and. I would have thought that would be the text hyphen align property, but apparently it's the fx hyphen align alignment property that sets that. So let's set that to center here with a semicolon there. 
And now if I run this, it's in the center. And we can also do stuff like um, we can drop a shadow. So let's, let's just do that for fun. If you want to um, find a reference stock for that, if you type into Google something like Java FX CSS reference, you get this Java FX CSS reference guide. And if I search in there for drop shadow, here's um, how we can do a drop shadow. Let's go ahead and set that. I'll let you look at that at your leisure. I'll type FX hyphen effect. And if I use control space, it looks like there's not a whole lot of choice for effects, but I'm sure there is a lot of really great stuff you can do. And uh, let's, let's select drop shadow, put the semicolon at the end there. And the first parameter here is the kind of type of algorithm you want to use to generate the shadow. We've got a choice and I will select three pass box. I don't really know what these are. Well, Gaussian I sort of know, but the rest I don't really know. But let's, um, let's just use that. And uh, the next argument is the color of the shadow. I could just type black, but I'd like to make a shadow that's a little bit transparent. So I'm going to use a function. Uh, I'm going to say RGBA. That's red, green, blue, and alpha. And I'll set red to zero, blue to zero, uh, red, red to zero, green to zero, blue to zero and alpha to 0 0.7 and then that's going to be like slightly transparent and the rest of the arguments uh, we see here we've got the radius of the shadow the spread like how how much the, the shadow spreads out and the um, the offset for x and y so let's let's try whoops let's try something like uh, a radius of i don't know one pixel and spread of two pixels and x and y offsets of one and one see how that looks so I'll run this and now we've got a bit of shadow around the label and the text also you'll see as a shadow uh, in scene builder here if you go to I think I've forgotten actually where it is but somewhere we can add the star sheet here um, let's have a look yeah, preview steam scene style sheets, add a style sheet, and we can browse to that directory where we created the style sheet, open it, and now it's styled. So if we do control P to preview it, we can see the styles are applied. Of course the functional functionality doesn't work in Scene Builder, and as far as I know, you you're kind of limited in um the editing that you can do of style sheets in Scene Builder. So, but it's quite easy to build them by hand. Okay, I think that's it for this tutorial. And I'm not sure what we'll get on to in the next tutorial, but I'm thinking it might be a good idea to build like um, a little demo ap application that actually has some real functionality in it with like a menu and a toolbar and stuff like that. So maybe we'll build like a little notepad application to start with or something. Apparently you can do 3D graphics in JavaFX uh, at least if you use um, the kind of preview version of Java 8. So that might be interesting to get into and uh, I can't promise, but we might take a look at that as well, uh, along with lo lots of other things, I'm sure. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, uh, don't forget to click subscribe if you're watching on YouTube and I hope you'll consider going to www.caveofprogramming.com and subscribing to my newsletter here as well. So um, until next time, happy coding.